The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. He brought me back to the entrance of the temple, where a stream flowed eastwards from under the temple threshold, for the temple faced east. The water flowed from under the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He took me out by the north gate and led me right round outside as far as the outer cast gate where the water flowed out on the right-hand side. He said, This water flows east, down to the Arabah, into the sea. And flowing into the sea, it makes its waters wholesome. Wherever the river flows, all living creatures teeming in it will live. Fish will be very plentiful. For wherever the water flows, it brings health. And life teems wherever the river flows. Along the river on either bank will grow every kind of fruit tree with leaves that never wither and fruit that never fails. They will bear new fruit every month because this water comes from the sanctuary and their fruit will be good to eat and the leaves medicinal. And our response is from Psalm 46. So we shall not be afraid, though the earth be in turmoil, though mountains tumble into the depths of the sea and its waters roar and seethe, and the mountains totter as it heaves. Yahweh Sabaoth is with us, our citadel, the God of Jacob. God is in the city, it cannot fall. At break of day, God comes to its rescues. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms are tumbling. When he raises his voice, the earth crumbles away. Come, consider the wonders of Yahweh, the astounding deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over the whole wide world. He breaks the bow, he snaps the spear, shields he burns in the fire. Our second reading is from the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. After all, we do share in God's work. You are God's farm, God's building. By the grace of God which was given to me, I laid the foundations like a trained master builder, and someone else is building on them. Now each one must be careful how he does the building. For nobody can lay down any other foundation than the one which is there already, namely Jesus Christ. Do you not realize that you are a temple of God with the Spirit of God living in you? If anybody should destroy the temple of God, God will destroy that person because God's temple is holy and you are that temple. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. When the time of the Jewish Passover was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And in the temple he found people selling cattle and sheep and doves, and the money changers sitting there. Making a whip out of cord, he drove them all out of the temple. Sheep and cattle as well, scattered the money changers' coins, knocked their tables over, and said to the dove sellers, Take all of this out of here. Stop using my father's house as a market. Then his disciples remembered the words of Scripture. I am eaten up with zeal for your house. The Jews intervened and said, What sign can you show us that you should act like this? And Jesus answered, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews replied, It's taken 46 years to build this temple. Are you going to raise it up again in three days? But he was speaking of the temple that was his body. And when Jesus rose from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this. And they believed the scripture and what he had said. The Gospel of the Lord.